You've been that guy for a long time, but something happened. You have a woman in your life. There is a, a woman Where'd you meet her? in my life. I met her at uh, Bristol Farms on Sunset and Fairfax Yeah. one morning about 10.30. I waited for her in the parking lot like most predators do. <laughs> and uh, when she came out, I asked if she had a Valentine and she did not. So I went back in the store and I bought a dozen roses, which I don't usually like to buy anything. <laughs> and I gave her the roses and yeah. we eventually got married. Yeah. Now this isn't your first marriage though. You talk about your first marriage in your Showtime special, so let's get that one out of the way and then we'll talk about this one. All right. I don't know how to make a marriage last. I, I can tell you how to make one fail. Uh, marry someone because their father is your favorite actor. <laughs> At some point, believe me, you're just waking up with her. So, what is that all about? Well, I married Clint Eastwood's daughter, Allison. I remember the last thing he said to me, he, he called me a son of a bitch. <laughs> and I was so excited that he had called me son. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That worked out well for you? I was the first husband to try and take my wife's last name. Yeah, no, it doesn't work, it doesn't work that way. So now you're married after telling me you would never do that, so you're gonna be a stay-at-home dad, right? I will be having a, a daughter in May, so mm -hmm. payback. Okay. So, have you picked a name? Her name will be Addison Bristol Fox. Bristol Farms, because that's where I met the mother. Okay, so you named her after the grocery store? Yes. <laughs> okay. And I, I will be a, a stay-at-home pop. I've yeah. been training for it my whole life. So, are you, are you prepared for this? Uh, I've been reading up on it, and I've been practicing changing diapers on... I have two puppies. So, that's Ken and Karma. And we adopted them from Mexico. They're, before the wall went up, we got them out. <laughs> and the great thing was is we got the dogs, these two puppies, and then the next day, Jaren told me she was pregnant. So I'll be doing a lot of walking. Yeah. So you say Jared won't pick up dog poop, so you're... I think I'll be in, in, in charge of the diapers because of that. Yeah. She just, it's just something she doesn't do. I mean, she, when she walks the dogs and I'm not there, she'll send me photos <laughs> of the dog poop and the house it's in front of. <laughs> and sometimes I can't find the house. So I'll walk around showing pictures <laughs> of the dog poop to neighbors. And I say, have you seen this? And eventually, I always get close enough. And I find it, and I pick it up. I'm good at it. Yeah? I'm seeing you later today? I, I would think I'd, I'll be there at four. I'm hungry. Yeah, well. Yeah, let me tell you, he plays tennis, eats us out of house and home every time he comes over. I'm no dummy.